in this easy ed video lecture we are going to learn the number systems classification of the number system into the non positional number and the positional number system various types of number systems such as binary decimal octal and hexadecimal also we will learn the conversion from one system to another let us start with the introduction now introduction number systems are of two types namely positional and non positional number systems earlier humans used to count on fingers to count up to 10 and to count beyond that they used stones pebbles etc this method uses additive approach and is called as non positional number system non positional number system in a non positional number system each number in each position does not have to be positional itself it means that each value represents the same value regardless of its position to find the value of a number one has to count the number of symbols present in the number for example the egyptians use hieroglyphics it is very difficult to perform arithmetic operations with such a number system positional number system a positional notation numeral system is one in which each position is related to the next by a constant multiplier of that numeral system for each position that the number is in in that system has a relative symbol or meaning and in a way relates to the number directly next to it the total value of a positional number is the total of the resultant values of all positions for example the addition 1001 plus 2002 and the addition 1010 plus 2020 will give two different answers even if the digits used are the same here the position of the digits can't be changed as the total value of a number depends on each single digit in a positional number system there are only a few symbols called digits and these symbols represent different values depending on the position they occupy in the number the value of each digit in such a number is determined by three considerations one the digit itself two the position of the digit in the number and three the base of the number system the various types of number systems used in computers are decimal binary octal hexadecimal number system so the bases of the various number systems are decimal base 10 binary base 2 octal base 8 hexadecimal base 16 Let us go through the numbers in each number system till 15. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Starting with the binary number system, a computer only understands the digital language. Thus, when we give any command to the computer, it first converts it to the digital language commonly known as binary language and then executes the command. the result generated is first converted back to our language by computer and then it is displayed by means 2 hence the base used in the binary number system is 2 therefore it has only two symbols or digits 0 or 1 each position in the binary number system represents a power of base 2 therefore in this number system rightmost position is 2 raised to 0 equals 1 and the second position is 2 raised to 1 and so on So in case of binary number system digit 0 represents off or low state and digit 1 represents on or high state Now let us learn the conversion of binary number into a decimal number that is from base 2 to base 10 Each position of binary digit can be replaced by an equivalent power of 2 as shown below Thus to convert any binary number replace each binary digit bit with its power and add up to determine the value of a binary number 1012 for example we can expand the number using the positional weights by multiplying each digit by the power of its base that is 2 after which we add up all the weights so here we get 9 as the decimal number it is very similar to what we have studied during our schooling any four digit number is written as now as in the day to day life we use decimal system that has base 10 hence we multiply every digit by the respective power of 10 similarly 
Let us take another example to convert 1011 to to its decimal equivalent. Represent the weight of each digit in the given number using the above table. Now add up all the powers after multiplying by the digit values 0 or 1. Next we learn to convert from decimal to binary that is from base 10 to base 2. To convert a decimal number to its binary equivalent the remainder method can be used. It involves the following four steps. Let us understand this with an example to convert 68 10 to binary. 1. Divide the decimal number by the base. In the case of binary, divide by 2. 2. Indicate the remainder to the right. 3. Continue dividing into each quotient and indicating the remainder until the divide operation produces a zero quotient. 4. The base 2 number is the numeric remainder reading from the last division to the first. If you start at the bottom, the answer will read from the top to bottom. We stop here as the number has been reduced to zero and collect the remainders in reverse order. And so the answer is, note, the answer is read from bottom, MSB, most significant bit, to top, LSB, least significant bit. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Moving on to the octal number system. The word octal is derived from the Latin root octo, 8. In this system, the base B equals 8 and we use 8 symbols to represent a number. So each position of the octal number represents a successive power of 8. From right to left, the successive positions of the octal number are weighted in this way. A list of the first several powers of 8 follows. Conversion of octal to decimal, that is from base 8 to base 10. This is same as binary to decimal conversion. Let us understand this with an example. To determine the value of an octal number, 367, 8, we can expand the number using the positional weights in this way. Conversion of decimal to octal, that is from base 10 to base 8. To convert a decimal number to its octal equivalent, the remainder method can be used. To review the remainder method involves the following four steps. Let us understand this with an example. 1. Divide the decimal number by the base. In the case of octal, divide by 8. 2. Indicate the remainder to the right. 3. Continue dividing into each quotient and indicating the remainder until the divide operation produces a zero quotient. 4. The base 8 number is the numeric remainder reading from the last division to the first. Note. The answer is read from bottom to top as 261.8, the same as with the binary case. Conversion of decimal to binary using octal. When the numbers are large, conversion to binary would take a large amount of division by 2. It can be simplified by first converting the number to octal and then converting each octal into its binary form. For example, Convert 177 in decimal to its binary equivalent using octal form. Step 1. Convert it to the octal form first as shown above. This yields 261 in octal. Step 2. Now convert each octal code into its 3-bit binary form. Thus 2 is replaced by 010. 6 is replaced by 110. And 1 is replaced by 001. The binary equivalent of 177 in decimal is 010, 110, 001. Moving ahead with hexadecimal number system. The hexadecimal base 16 number system is a positional number system as are the decimal and the binary number systems. The hexadecimal number system uses not only the Arabic numerals 0 through 9 but also uses the letters A, B, C, D, E and F to represent the equivalent of 10, 10 through 15, 10 respectively. However, the base of hexadecimal number system is 16. So each position of the hexadecimal number represents a successive power of 16. From right to left, the successive positions of the hexadecimal number has these weights. Conversion of hex to decimal, which is from base 16 to base 10. 
We can use the same method that we used to convert binary numbers and octal numbers to decimal numbers to convert a hexadecimal number to a decimal number. From right to left, we multiply each digit of the hexadecimal number by the value of 16 raised to successive powers, starting with the zero power and then sum the results of the multiplications. Remember that if one of the digits of the hexadecimal number happens to be a letter A through F, then the corresponding value of 10 through 15 must be used in the multiplication. Finally, we get the decimal answer this way. Conversion of decimal to hex, which is from base 10 to base 16. To convert a decimal number to its hexadecimal equivalent, the remainder method, let us consider an example here. To review the remainder method involves the following four steps. 1. Divide the decimal number by the base. In the case of hexadecimal, divide by 16. 2. Indicate the remainder to the right. If the remainder is between 10 and 15, indicate the corresponding hex digit A through F. 3. Continue dividing into each quotient and indicating the remainder until the divide operation produces a zero quotient. 4. The base 16 number is the numeric remainder reading from the last division to the first. If you start at the bottom, the answer will read from top to bottom. Note, the answer is read from bottom to top, same as with the binary case. Conversion of binary to hex. To convert a binary number to hexadecimal, divide it into groups of four digits, starting with the rightmost digit. If the number of digits isn't a multiple of four, prefix the number with zeros so that each group contains four digits. For each four-digit group, convert the 4-bit binary number into an equivalent hexadecimal digit. Conversion of hex to binary. To convert a hexadecimal number to a binary number, convert each hexadecimal digit into a group of four binary digits. So in this way, we get our answer. Let's have a quick review of what we have studied in this lecture. Number systems are of two types, namely positional and non-positional number systems. In a non-positional number system, each number in each position does not have to be positional itself. A positional notation numeral system is one in which each position is related to the next by a constant multiplier of that numeral system. The various types of number systems used in computers are decimal, binary, octal, hexadecimal number system. Let us go through the numbers in each number system till 15. Binary number system has 2 as its base and it has only two symbols namely 0 and 1. Each position in the binary number system represents a power of base 2 while in the decimal number system the base is 1 0 and there are 10 symbols from 0 to 9. Each position in the decimal number system represents a power of base 10 while in octal number system the base is 8 and there are 8 symbols from 0 to 7. Each position in the octal number system represents a power of base 8 while in hexadecimal number system the base is 16 and there are 16 symbols namely 0 to 9 and the symbols from 10 to 15 are represented with the alphabets A to F. Each position in the hexadecimal number system represents a power of base 10. Then, we study the conversions from one system to another. Conversion from decimal to any other number system is done using the remainder method. Have a look at the examples. Conversions from binary to decimal is done in two steps. One, represent the weight of each digit in the given number using the table. Two, then add up all the powers after multiplying by the digit values 0 or 1. Conversion from octal to decimal is done in two steps. 1. Represent the weight of each digit in the number in the given number using the table. 2. Then add up all the powers after multiplying by the digit values. To convert an octal number to a binary number, we have to represent each octal digit into a 3-bit binary representation. Conversion from hexadecimal to decimal is done in two steps. 1 represent the weight of each digit in the given number using the table 2 then add up all the powers after multiplying by the digit values conversion of hex to binary to convert a hexadecimal number to a binary number convert each hexadecimal digit 
into a group of four binary digits, binary addition. Adding two binary numbers together is easy, keeping in mind the following four addition rules. 1. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 2. 0 plus 1 equals 1. 3. 1 plus 0 equals 1. 4. 1 plus 1 equals 1, 0. Negative numbers can be represented in sign magnitude, from where a single bit to represent the sign of the number plus or minus and the remaining bits to represent the magnitude of the number. In this representation, a most significant bit of 0 represents plus, while a most significant bit of 1 represents minus. The remaining bits give the magnitude of the number. Is 1's complement is another way to represent negative numbers. Negative number is stored as bitwise, complement of corresponding positive number. Leftmost bit, that is, the MSB of positive number is 0. That of negative number is 1. 2's complement is another way to represent a negative number. Positive numbers are represented as they are simple binary. To get a negative number, 1. Write the positive number in binary. 2. Take 1's complement. Change all zeros to 1's and 1's to zeros. Then add 1 to the number. The steps for subtracting two binary numbers are as follows. 1. Compute the 2's complement of the subtrahend. Add the 2's complement of the subtrahend to the minute and drop the high order 1. This is your difference. Binary multiplication and division are carried out in the usual way used in multiplication and division of decimal numbers.